I ain't never seen a fast feather. What's up, PD peeps? It's Saturday, and today I'm going to show you how to make the zoom feather effect using PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in PowerDirector. The zoom feather effect is a pretty dope effect that you can use on music videos or any video where you want to make a zoom special effect to make things a bit more fancified. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the zoom feather effect for your videos. Let's get zoomed and feathered. As you can see, I have a clip up here in the media library and it is a girl dancing. So I'm going to click on this so you can see her getting down, doing her thing, got a little hip action going on let's go ahead and stop that so you want to go ahead and drag the clip that you want to use into track one of your timeline now in order to make this effect you need to duplicate this clip so you can do Control c on your keyboard click on track two and then do Control v make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the clip so that it lines up directly right under it when you do Control v now you want to move your playhead to a position where you want the zoom to take place. And that looks really good there. The clip on the bottom is already selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the split icon. And then I'm going to move my playhead forward to where I want the zoom to end. And since this clip is still selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on the split icon again. And I don't need the sections on the left and the right of the clip. So I'm going to go ahead and click on delete and it'll delete the section on the right. And then I'm going to click on the section on the left and I'm going to do remove and I'm going to do remove and leave gap. The reason why is because I don't want that clip to move. I want it to stay in place. The next thing we want to do is double click on this clip to open up the PIP designer. And in the PIP designer, you want to make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the clip and you want to go ahead and click on the scale keyframe and it'll add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and we're going to leave it at a scale of one and then we want to move our playhead to the middle of this clip and because my timeline is a 24 frame per second timeline the middle would be 12 frames and here in the middle you want to go ahead and change your scale to zoom in. So I'm going to do 3.2 and hit enter. And when I do that, it will create a keyframe there and it will go ahead and zoom in the clip. Then you want to move your playhead to the end of the clip and you want to change your scale back to one and hit enter. And what that'll do is it'll make the clip zoom in and zoom back so if i press play you'll see zooms and goes back perfecto now that i'm done with that i'm gonna click on ok now in order to finish this off to see exactly what you saw in the demo you need to add a blend mode on here and we're going to use the screen blend mode so you want to right click on this clip you want to go to set clip attributes and then you want to go to set blending mode. And then you want to go to screen. Let's go ahead and play this back. Zoom feather. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.